All right, that's the current gas mile. I mean the the odometer right there has 168,925, uh, and I already made a sticker. Let me show you guys real quick. This is the sticker I'm gonna put in the corner of the of the windshield. 178,925 uh, miles. That uh, I'm telling you guys, I do 10,000 miles per drain interval. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take off this drain bolt. Uh, I have a 17 millimeter socket. This is a 3 8 breaker bar, so it was actually on there pretty hard. So All right, let's go. Let's take this off. Oh, yeah, it's just hard. All right, there we go. Gotta be prepared. It's not that windy, but there's a tiny bit of wind. All right, here we go. Here goes the engine oil. This is the Valvoline Zero W20, full synthetic, high mileage. So, uh, honestly, this is a tiny bit less than 10,000 miles. So, it wasn't as bad. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, you guys don't have to see the whole thing draining, so I'm gonna cut it right here. All right, so I'm gonna take off the filter. I know you guys are gonna be like, why are you using that filter? It's a piece of junk. Uh, honestly, I just, I wouldn't normally use it, but I mean, I'm just test, uh, trying to take it uh, to its limits. And you know how I said 10,000 miles, I don't think anyone has, has done that. So yeah, um, I'm eventually gonna make a video of me cutting this open. And yeah, there you go. Actually, let me just take it off. I took off my gloves because, man, honestly, I couldn't do shit with those gloves on. I didn't want to get oil because, you know, oil, used oil is bad for use. But, I mean, once when it hurt, but I had them on earlier. All right, trying to take this off. I'm going to show you how clean it is in there. Oh, shit. I already you know kind of lubricated the gasket and uh, you could pre-fill if you want to I typically don't do it because it really isn't that much it doesn't make much of a difference uh, so yeah just tying it as much as you can by hand just always do it hand tie it always tying it by hand as much as you can Ugh. so as you can see, I'm still tying it by hand. We kind of get a better angle. <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. That's all I could go by hand. But that's, uh, that's all it really needs. All right, YouTube. So I got the funnel right here. And let me just show you guys real quick. It says right there, uh, zero W20. All right, there you go, zero W20. So that's the oil we're gonna be using. You guys can see it right there. The Shell Rotella gas truck, zero W20. Give it a good shake because additives do tend to, to settle down. If you guys are into like, uh, like they give you rewards. I mean, this is the bottle cap right here. They give you uh, rewards. And uh, you know, I honestly don't don't use the code. So whoever wants the code, shit, I don't even think you guys could, will be able to see it. But oh well, definitely smells like synthetic oil. So yeah, let's just pour it in. You know, make sure everything is plugged down there, like your oil drain plug, your oil filter, and there's the color of it. Looks pretty good, if you tell me. I think the Civic, if I'm not mistaken, is around 3.9 quarts or 4.5. But, you know, this isn't an oil change video. I'm just showing you guys, like, the color of it. So, this video is just mostly about the... That was a nice sounding car, huh, guys? All right, let me see. 
All right, I have four quarts right there. And, uh, you know, no, that's it for now. I mean, I'm gonna turn on the engine, let it cycle through. I'm gonna check the dipstick and, you know, I'll just have, I'll just have to add some if it needs more. All right, well, there you go. That's the oil change in this video. If you guys hear it, it's just running perfectly smooth. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, kind of zoom out of the, show you what kind of car it is. Is this car right here? 2012 Honda Civic. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the oil analysis. All right, so like it's actually been three months already, and we've already put the mileage. So, and it went a tiny bit over, as you could see from the previous mileage we had. So, you know, it's, it's not by much, but uh, we definitely surpassed the 10,000 mile oil change interval. So, just showing you guys the mileage, the odometer. All right, so I think around up here, you can't really see it on in the frame without messing it up too much oh well but that's a drain bolt got the two for oil analysis I would say it's roughly like 10,300 miles so it went a little bit over the 10,000 mark but no worries there it goes the motor oil, motor oil right there then just go like that that's all you need right there Done deal. Oil analysis. I'm gonna send it off. Well, Sunday, so you know, the mail doesn't work today. So, all right, that's it for now. Take out the oil filter. I already had it loose, so there you go. Just let it drain out. I have a glove on, so you know, I could do the dirty work without getting dirty. So, plus, you know, you don't want to be touching used oil. There you go, they use the Wix XP filter and got the new one right here. It's the same part number, hopefully you guys can see. For the 2012 Civic is a 57356 XP, so XP is their top of the line filter. Alright, I just quickly wanted to show you guys, like I cleaned it up there. I do 10,000 miles every oil change interval. And look how clean the metal is inside. No varnish at all. Maybe that's a tiny bit that's like, you know, leaking down, but in there that's all clean. Not even the slightest of varnish. 10,000 miles with full synthetic uh, motor oil. I've used many brands, pretty much all of them that they sell. And, you know, high end oil filters like Wix XP, Fram Ultra Synthetic, and Pure Later Boss. So, and this is and I've done that from brand new so you know definitely use high quality products and like it'll it'll definitely treat your motor right. Alright. Right, there you go. Oil filters on hand tight. And I always take it off by hand, so you know I don't need any tools. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't need a tool but there you go brand new oil filter I did prime the oil filter this time you know just to see I, don't, I mean I don't think there's a difference because it's only a little bit of time that from the engine sump it goes into the oil filter it's, a little, it's literally like seconds so seconds won't damage much anything at all because there's always like like a little film of oil throughout the whole engine so all right well there you go time to pour in the oil all right, so I already dumped out the used oil and put it into the, the container. And with the Rotella, I've put in four and one quarter quarts. And that's how much came out. So you could see that like, it's not exactly at a quarter. I would say it's at four quarts and one eighth of a quart. So it pretty much consumed one eighth of a quart. Whether that's, you know, through evaporation loss or like burning off, they consume like one eighth of a quart, which is four ounces over the 10,000 miles. So the Shell Rotella did really good. All right, hello YouTube. I am back with the used oil analysis for the 
Shell Rotella gas truck 0W20. Before I start uh, go, getting into the used oil analysis, right here it says Shell Rotella T6 0W20. Obviously, this video is about the Shell Rotella gas truck 0W20. And T6 is pretty much Shell Rotella's diesel motor oil. And it simply doesn't come in the viscosity of a 0W20. Plus, the uh, the elemental properties of diesel motor oils are different from gasoline motor oils. So, yeah, I'm just letting you know that it doesn't, ma uh, doesn't match up with the diesel motor oil. So this is Shell Rotella gas truck. I just want to point that out to not confuse anyone because this is gas truck oil. So there are the comments that Blackstone gave back to me. So you could pretty much read that for yourselves. I'm going to show you the element in parts per million. As you could see the universal averages you compare them to my oil. Uh, I also want to say that I previous oil before the Shell Rotella was Valvoline Full Synthetic. So yes, the miles on the motor oil was 10,360 miles. Miles on the unit is 179,285 miles so it definitely has been around and the I mostly drove highway miles um, and I also took a trip round trip from Los Angeles to Denver and while I was in Denver I also went took another round trip to Colorado Springs and back up to Denver so I definitely did a lot of highway miles. Just that trip alone was probably like 2,400 miles. So yeah, um, if I forgot to mention, I mean you saw it in the in the previous, but I, I used the Wix XP oil filter, did very well. And yeah, let's let's go down to the properties of the motor oil. So the parameters of a zero W twenty is right here where it says value should be that's pretty much where a 0w20 viscosity motor oil should be and it's definitely still a 0w20 after 20,000 uh, 10,000 miles the only negative about the the oil analysis is that the flash point is lower than it should be and that's because there's a tiny bit of fuel dilution but that's perfectly normal if you're driving 10,000 miles because getting to 10,000 miles that's a lot of fuel you have to use so yeah um, TBN is at 1.9 meaning that like I pretty much got my money's worth using the motor oil for this long uh, anything below a 1.0 pretty much means that like you used it up and like you should just change it but I'm not gonna I'm not going any longer than 10,000 miles so yeah, um, this motor oil did very well, I would say, from the beginning of the oil change interval to the last hundreds of miles, the motor oil stayed very smooth. The history of this car has always seen 10,000 miles oil drain interval since brand new. 0W20 pretty much only comes in full synthetic, so... It's useful synthetic since the beginning as well. So yeah, um, if you're using this video to uh, possibly give this Shell Rotella a try, I highly recommend it. As you can see, the results don't lie. The motor oil did very well in this engine. But you know, all engines wear at different rates. But I would still say use it with confidence. I definitely used it with confidence. So yeah um i pretty much got uh, i have nothing else to say about this uh, i just want to thank you guys for taking interest in my video hope you guys enjoy it if you have any further questions that um you just want to ask you can leave them on the comment section below and i will try to get back to you pretty much asap so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day guys